Welcome back to the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show here on WKYC Channel 3. Thank you for joining us. It's time to talk some Major League Baseball. Every year, MLB Network unveils their top 100 players right now. And often in the past, in my opinion, Jose Ramirez has been too low on this list. Well, now we're about to find out where he is and is he too low, still, too high, or just right. Mikey McNuggets, what do you got? Yeah, Jose came in at number 14 on this year's list. You know, we could argue, is that too high, too low, just right? I, because it's voted on by players, executives, and a whole compilation of different people, I didn't want to necessarily argue the ranking. I just wanted to use this to set. Can we get, I think we should give our opinion. You think 14 quick. is right then? Is it right? I, I right think range? he's a little high at 14. Real quick. I think he's right. That's where he should be. I think he's a top 15 player. I think he's around 19, 20. But that's top, still top 20. Now, if I'm starting a t if I'm starting a franchise, I'm taking everybody below him on that list ahead of him because they're well, all younger. But we're not starting. But that's a not fair. We're doing right now. Today. Right now, I'd put him below a couple of those guys. I think he's a little high at this point, uh, but but not far off. He is between 15 and 20. 16. So he's in the right range. Yeah, right. Whether range, or not he's exactly yeah. right. But the big question here, guys, is Jose had a phenomenal 2022 season. Took a step back, and injuries played a role in that in 2023. The rest of the guys around him in the lineup obviously did not produce at the level the Guardians had hoped for. So do you think heading into 2024, Jose's due for a big bounce back season? Or have we seen the best of Jose Ramirez? Jason? He is what he is, and he's a model of consistency. Last year, I think his numbers being down a little bit probably were more to do with what was around him and just how badly they struggled to score runs. Ultimately, it's not like this guy's 35, 36 years old and his career's over. He's going to hit 275 to 280. He's going to knock in around 100. He's going to hit 25 home runs. That's who he is almost every single year. If you look at his last three years, he's averaged about 100 RBIs a season. So if he gives you that, you take that and you run with it. 280 average, about 25 home runs, and around 100 RBIs, and also some speed on the bases and a gold glove level defensive caliber third baseman. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's not where he was in 2022. If, if you can get the Jose from 2022, where he's already up around 120 something RBIs. That was a career year. That was a crazy year. If you get 115 from him, say 285 and, and 25, 26 home runs, I think that puts you in contention in, in this division with a weak division. I think um, it, it'll be a lot to ask him to get a hit, home, to hit in the 30s anymore, even though you have him, you say I do. You I have him See, I don't 31. think so. I think he, you know, he had 29 in 2022. That wasn't an outrageous number because he hit 30-something, 30 36, I think, in 2021. In 2020, I think he had 17 in a 60-game season. And even in 2019, I think he hit about 25, but he missed like 50 games that year. So every other year for the last five, he's been on a pace of around 30, more than 25. And as you said, Jason, he's certainly older and getting to the end of his prime, but he's not quite there. He's 32. I think he's got, a, I think he's got one more, maybe two more, 30 home run seasons in him. So I think he'll hit uh, between 29 and 33 homers. I do. I think, and he's had this a few times in his career. I think he, he was dealing, he was definitely, not think, I know, he was dealing with some nagging injuries last year. And Jose, whether he's injured or not, he wants to be in the lineup every day. Is he still in his prime, Jason? Or is he at the back end he's of his prime? He's at the back end. I wouldn't call this prime time, Jose. It's probably the back end of the prime. But he's only hit 30 homers twice in his career, sort of to the point you alluded yeah. to. He's had a lot of injuries. He's had a lot of hand injuries right. and, and wrist issues in the past. And he's probably going to have a DL stint or something like that, which may prevent him from hitting 30. Twice in 30 years, two, two times in his career, I can't expect at age 32 he's going to hit 30. Give me 25, 27, and 100 RBIs, I'll take it every time. 15 stolen bases and the type of defense that he can play at third. Yeah. yeah. That's Certainly would take it. Uh, you want him to be overall. He wasn't as good last year as he's been. Absolutely the past true. Few years. Yes. I think his overall game will bounce back, and and we'll, we'll see. I mean, there's not a huge gap between 25 and 30 homers. They could use every homer though. Yes. Coming off a season, as Jay mentioned earlier, where they didn't hit a ton of homers.